What is up? What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Get your red candle out. Your screen has the wrong month and date. This is unacceptable. Does it really? Oh, man. My uh, my thumbnail guy has uh, been a little off on his dates lately, for sure. Don't worry. We'll get that sorted out. No big deal. Um, welcome back. It is October 10th, 2018, and this is your daily mining uh, crypto hash rates, a little, little bit of everything. Um, if you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, I appreciate you coming in and stopping by. Don't be scared if this video says it's going to be like 60 minutes long. I try to get through the meat and the potatoes, the core of the actual video in the first 10 minutes. I try not to do a lot of back and forth with the live stream. So uh, hang out, enjoy that 10 minutes, and I'll let you know when it's transitioning over to the back and forth live stream section. So uh, right off the top, I wanted to start out, and we're going to try to start every single video with a little bit of what's going on in the actual um, GPU tech side of things right now um, and the only information or news really is uh, NVIDIA has some rapid system and they promise 50 times faster data analytics I don't know if that's gonna affect us guys uh, being the miners but um, anytime we talk about faster and NVIDIA I, I'm my ears are perking up so uh, they announced rapids an open source GPU acceleration platform that claims it will make data crunching 50 times faster compared with CPU only systems. Data has become a very important process of every company and it's become a critical aspect to how companies do business, says Jeff Sang, head product of Nvidia's newly formed AI infrastructure team. Okay, so it sounds like they're they're trying to dive more into the AI stuff. Um, GPU accelerated computing is now recognized as as the path forward. Um yeah, this, this doesn't look like it's going to be affecting us anytime soon, helping or not helping. Yeah, if we could do some rapid mining, uh, I like that recipe. Uh, Secret Recipe says we need to do rapid mining, 50 times faster. If I could get 50 times my Ethereum hash rate, oh my god, I'd fall over and die. Um, well, not really, but I'd, I'd, be, uh, I'd be super excited. So, there you, you heard it here first, GPU rapids. Get your... Get your, your uh, boat out we're heading to the rapids now let's see what's going on in the market and actually there is a bunch of uh there's a lot of movement right now um i thought it was going down worse than that but it's at 63.27 it looked like it was heading for six flat but maybe not um ethereum's looking like it might dip below 200 bucks it's a 206 right now uh, litecoin's at 53 Monero's at 107 and rounding out the top coins, uh, Ethereum Classics at $10.33. Now, yo yo, Bojangles is life. Bojangles is definitely life. Uh, Ether One is at 1.9 cents. It was at, actually at about 1.8 cents earlier. That's the lowest it's been um, in six months. And the only other time it dipped down this low, that was the, like, that's the lowest since the coin's inception which has only been up for less than a year now so uh it, e it is either a really good time to buy this coin um or it's a really good time to buy this coin you know what i'm saying you know what i'm saying people um so if you don't want some ether one you can mine it because I'm, I'm bad at buying now for the daily hash rates for today this is a list of every single graphics card that I personally own, and obviously I do own multiples of these. But you're only going to see data for a single card because it wouldn't make sense for me, you know, for me to have like you know ten of this card and seven of that card. Uh, it's just all singles. So if you notice, the Ether One stuff pretty much stayed stagnant from yesterday to today. I think that has something to do with the fact that even though we lost value on the price, uh, the difficulty went down just a just a smidge. So uh, it's a little bit easier to mine. Uh, we actually gained a little bit of Satoshi value, but not enough to jump us up a whole penny on any of the cards that I was on Ether 1 with, which is the 1032 gig, the 1052 gig, and the 1063 gigs. Um, now, everything that was on Ethereum Classic had about a 4 to 5% drop today, uh, probably due to the fact that Ethereum Classic went down and uh, their, their difficulty is still rising at a slow rate, but albeit it is rising. So if it's getting harder to mine and it's worth less, obviously we're going to make less. Um, but that's not a problem. You know, we're here. We're hodling some ETC. Looking forward to doing some videos on mine and some other stuff and having more options here soon. But until then, we're just going to mine through this dip. This dip that has literally, like, we don't even need to call it a dip. Or, it, you know, some people are like, oh, we're going through a ditch right now. It's not a ditch. It's not a dip. 
It is the Grand Canyon right now. We are in the bottom of the Grand Canyon. But guess what's in the bottom of the Grand Canyon? A river. So we could go into the river and we still might not even be at the bottom of the river right now. So we're down in the bottom of the Grand Canyon, headed into the river. Hope we know how to swim and climb. No, I'm saying. So if you want to look at this more in depth, the way it reads is, for example, GTX 1050 Ti 4 gig, they went down 4% in the last 24 hours. It's making 24 cents a day right now. It was making 25 cents a day. The algorithm or coin is ETC, which is Ethereum Classic. The speed is 14.5 mega hashes. The Satoshi value is 3,761 Satoshis per day. Power cost estimated at 17 cents. You know what? This whole power cost panel right here, we need to just take that out because my power cost has officially changed. So I need to redo all my power figures, get updated wattages from the wall. That'll be a whole video series right there because it'll be a pain in the butt. So power cost, that's out of there. Um, yeah. And guys, my power just got raised to 10 cents per kilowatt hour. So uh, I'm feeling for people out there. I know there's people that pay a lot more than that, but there's also people that pay a lot less too. So uh, I'm in the double digit cents range on, on the electricity now. Um, it's no longer profitable to mine. Got to sell it all. Just kidding. Uh, yeah, so pause that if you want to look at it. If not, let's jump over to Twitter where I have 134 followers. There is 134 people out there that want to know what's going on on my Twitter. So I'm going to try to keep my Twitter updated and be reminders of when we're going live, when we're not going live. Any information that necessarily won't make a whole video, but uh, I still want to get it out there. Um, and I'll also try to retweet. Apparently, I'm not retweeting enough. Somebody somebody messaged me. They didn't tweet me. They messaged me because I guess if they tweeted me, you're like, yo, you're not retweeting enough. That's kind of that's faux pas. I'm still learning the whole like uh, Twitter etiquette, but we'll get there. So for the time being, we did a vote. And the in 24 hours, we got 34 votes. And the final results were 47% of the people said, I need to keep it at 10 p.m., which is right now where it is. Um, and 53% said 9 p.m. So uh, that's horrible that literally out of probably almost 11,000 subscribers, I had 34 votes. Uh, but you know what? I'll honor that. And we're going to we're gonna go and say next week for the whole week. I'm going to do a trial run. I'll give it a full five days, Monday through Friday next week. The mining show will be at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and I'll do another poll. And I'll also compare my views. Um, so I'm going to compare the, the live stream, like how many viewers are in the live stream and views after the fact to see, you know, is 10 p.m. better for me or is 9 p.m. better for me? Because obviously I can't make everybody happy. So for now, that's what it is. And uh, I appreciate every, all 34 people who went in there and voted. Uh, I'm sorry if this makes it worse for you. And uh, you're welcome if it makes it better for you. You feel me? You feel me, fam? And go follow my Twitter because that's what cool people do. Anyway, on in other news, let's look at a rig of the day. We don't have a deal of the day because I couldn't find anything. There ain't really. If you want deals right now, you don't you don't go on to uh, Amazon. You go on to eBay and you're gonna buy used stuff. Yes, you are. Um, I know this isn't normally how the deal of the days are, but the problem is, is I can't show you. Be like, oh my god, this is a great deal on, for example, let's say a GTX 1060. I'll show you how I find my 1060s though. See, so yeah, I'll type in GTX 1060 in eBay. First thing I go down here to is I want to see used. Okay. Then I want to see buy it now because I don't want to like I don't like auctions. Then I go lowest first. So used, buy it now, lowest first. Um, 1050 Ti 4 gig. Let me get that out of here. Uh, here's a uh, pallet 1063 gig. Well, watch it. It's from Japan. Not that I don't have anything against Japan. I just don't want to wait that long for shipping, so I, I skip over that one. Oh, here's a GeForce GTX 1060 dual fan. $128 shipping, so you're looking at $130. Bucks. It's not a bad deal. We go over, look at their rating. They got 33 sales, 100% positive feedback. I'd roll the dice on buying one card from them at one time. Um, probably wouldn't go and buy a bunch from them right off the bat. Let's see what it says. Render graphic uh, used with box and documentation. Never had an issue. Six months have had it. So he has mined the guts out of this thing for six months, but uh, it should still work. You know what I'm saying? It's 33. That's not bad. You can go to the seller and look at their sales feedback. It's always a good deal. Or you can just back out of that and go find the next guy. See what, how many sales he has. 246 with 97.3. 
you got what a 2.7 percent chance that this is going to be a pile of doo-doo so you just gotta you gotta roll the dice but you can literally get 1060s for you know a, a good deal so 130 bucks right there if you go on to amazon and you look for a gtx 1060 let's see what the cheapest one is right now okay those are 1050s definitely not 1060s did i type in 1050 no i didn't okay so here's a 1063 gig 184 dollars and it's from a third party it's not even from amazon direct um so yeah, you're looking at $54 off of the cheapest one that's not even directly from Amazon. eBay is the way to go for buying cards right now. Uh, if you don't want to necessarily buy cards right now, then just wait for the new ones to come out. They're supposed to be, what, 2070s coming out in like a week, and AMD cards coming out in, you know, two weeks. And uh, Gertwersk, you, or you can buy just 120 bucks worth of crypto. You can not absolutely do that, but the problem is, is I have a hard time buying crypto because... I have a, a problem with mining. I like mining, so I like buying hardware. Um, you know. Anyway, let's look at a rig of the day, and we'll get through this. Sorry, I'm I'm uh, dragging it out a little bit, uh, but let's see here. Mining update. This is from Czar420, 23 hours ago. And guys, please, I need rigs to look at, so please go onto the Reddit. The link is down below in the description. Mr. B, is that used versus new, though? Yes, it is used versus new. Of course, Mr. B. Um, but if you're mining on it, and it, even if it's used, mine it. I haven't had really any issues out of my cards. But oh, I need more rigs to look at. We need more rig porn, okay? Crap, I just said the P word. I'm going to be de demonetized now. We need more rig eye candy, okay? Bleep that out. The other thing. Anyway, mining update for GTX 1050Ti's system is just the same. Just added two more 1050Ti's, now two gigabyte and two MSI. Holy smokes, these are 1050Ti's with extra power ports on the top and that one too. You know I have probably almost 15 1050's and 1050Ti's in total. like, And none of mine have extra power going into the top of it. That's odd. Um, those must be like the gaming super duper editions. Which is cool because you said you're getting good hash rates out of them. What's he showing on here? Uh, 86 cents a day for four of them. Not even a dollar a day. 86, hold on, let's see here. Let's calculate. 86 divided by four. He's getting 21 and a half cents a day. What am I getting on mine? 1050 Ti is 24 cents. So he's within the, he's a couple cents off, but you're on nice hash. So they're making their little bit of, uh, bit of money. He's doing good. You're doing good, Czar420. Uh, just need to, Got to pump those numbers, bro. Now's the time. Anyway, thank you for sharing that, Czar. Uh, as always, you know. Uh, we are going to be transitioning. Sorry, I, I got to reading. We're going to be transitioning over from the regularly scheduled content to the live stream back and forth. So if you want to stay, I appreciate it. If you don't, make sure to leave a, th a like, a comment, um... And I'll see you tomorrow night, Monday through Friday, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the rest of this week. And we will be switching over to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time next Monday through Friday next week. Which is not this week. It is the week of the 15th through the 19th. I uh, don't know if that's going to be permanent yet or not, but we'll give it a trial run for sure. Um, now, since we are over on the live stream sort of things i'll put this up for the peoples and we'll address some comments some questions if you have anything please please just uh shoot it down below my tech tips brandon how often do you clean your gpus uh, my tech tips i'll have you know that my 1060s that have almost been running for a full year now i've cleaned them twice and most all of my other cards uh, i've done nothing more than air dust them with a can of air duster I don't know once a month maybe uh give or take and i'm not even i don't even take them out of the frame i just like air dust them while they're in the frame um i just open the tent up and you know what i'm saying what mr b hopefully he isn't just sitting there talking what do you mean hopefully i'm not just sitting there talking 
Uh, yeah, we're we're talking, bro. Um, check this out. What is this? Two gigabyte single board computer, the Rock Pro 64. It's pretty cool looking. Most powerful single board computer released by Pine 64. It's powered by a Rock Trip RK3399 hexacore dual arm Cortex A72s. Uh, equipped with two gigs of LP DDR4. Oh man, I like it. What's it used for? Or what's it not used for? That's really cool. Um, what are those little like PCI, the little laptop style PCI slots or, or whatever? Doesn't really have a ton of information on it. No way you don't have, you, I, can you get away with not running like a heat sink on that chip? That's really cool looking. Uh, I had to hit reload too. For some reason, oh, did the stream cut out a little bit? It is storming outside. We have a hurricane coming through again. It's just hurricaning all the time. Uh, my tech tips. Brandon, have you tried using better thermal paste and pads for your GPUs to get better temps? Uh, I use Noctua. Uh, actually, it's right here. NTH1 thermal paste. Um, and it works good. I, I mean, I haven't repasted any of my cards more than one time so far. Yes, the stream cut for a second there. So sorry about that, guys. Um, it has PCIe. Curious if it can mine with the GPU. Bitcoin Jake. Yeah, I was looking at the, the PCIe there. That would be an awesome setup to uh, strap some GPUs to. Super low power. Jinsock Moon, welcome to the live chat, brother. Jinsock Moon, hey, do you still need 1080 Ti? I, I do not, no longer need a 1080 Ti. I got a couple of them coming on the way but i do appreciate it jen sock and be careful down there i don't know if the the hurricane's gonna hit you down in south carolina or not but you know it's it is what it is so uh who else we got up here dropping frames huge lag on your stream on my end it doesn't say i'm dropping them on my end it, it very well could be just my internet service sorry about that guys Hey, Brandon. Um, okay, let's see here. No problem, bro. Thank you. Secret recipe. Welcome. Bitcoin Jake. Nice to see you. Mr. B. Gertwursk. Chip Dog. Who else do we got in here? Yannick. Michael Oates. Pigeon Coin just jumped up from yesterday a lot. What is Pigeon Coin up? Pigeon coin. I, I, I totally spelled pigeon wrong. Uh, pigeon coin. Where are we at? No way. We're at two Satoshis. Is that a big jump? What did it do in the last day? One Satoshi, two Satoshis. Well, I guess a lot of people who bought them at one Satoshis, it's worth double now. You know what I'm saying? What's the next coin you're looking at mining, Michael Oates? Uh, the next coin I have already mined just a slight bit of, but I'm actually looking at mining more in depth is actually Lux coin. Um, I don't want to go to my wallet. Lux coin. Lux core right here. Um, Proof of stake wallet as service now available for pre-registration. Yes, I already have one of the proof of stake wallets. Uh, LuxScore is a blockchain solution and services ecosystem that focuses on designing and building enterprise-ready security and privacy products. The LuxScore platform relies on the groundbreaking Phi2 or Pi2 algorithm fueled blockchain to develop and implement its core product offerings. This includes an open source blockchain token of value, the LuxCoin, and the enterprise consumer focused closed source products like LuxGate and Parallel Masternodes. Um, so guys, the, out of all that mumbo jumbo and stuff, uh, what I'm looking at is they actually have what seems to be a purpose and they're wanting to offer uh, products. 
So the Lux Gate. See, they want to do the Lux Send, a form of coin mixing that provides an additional layer. Uh, trading wallet. Where's the Lux Gate? Uh, I, maybe. Products. There it is. Lux Gate. Coming soon. Okay, so you you can't you can't click on it. Parallel Master. You can't click on that either. Is there more information on the Lux Gate? Uh, here we go. Luxgate is nothing short of technological marvel in the blockchain space. Luxgate will allow communication between validated blockchains with the ability to perform advanced functions and tasks. Don't know what that means, but it sounds impressive and it sounds like something new. And we don't have much of that going on in the crypto space right now. So that's, I mean, on the surface, that's why I'm going to mine some Luxcoin. Uh, and NVIDIA cards seem to be do pretty good on it. I have not tried my AMD cards yet. Um, who clicked the thumb down? I don't know. There's always people out there. The haters. It's all good. Secret recipe. Average hash rate on my two RX 470s on ETH1 is 68.7. So, holy smokes. You're going 68. You're doing like, what, 34 a card? That's crazy. Jason H. Did snail mail deliver the thermal paste to you yet? Uh, I actually just got the thermal paste in. Um, and I do appreciate the thermal paste and also the message jason h um, i'm going to be using it in an upcoming video so look out for that mr jason thank you again wesley Suter just sent you my little rig on reddit trying to figure it out wesley uh what are you trying to figure out maybe we could help you right here michael oates brandon PUBG or fortnite well i hate to say it guys but if i had to pick between the two to play Richard Zing, thank you for subscribing. I appreciate you being here. Um, Michael Oates, if I had to pick between the two, which I do pick between the two, actually, uh, I play Fortnite. I'm sorry. I I know, I know. Even even in the Discord, a lot of people give me crap for it, but I, I kind of like it, you know? Um, when I'm not playing Fortnite, I like to play Ark. Ark is definitely, like, my number one play right now. And if any of you guys do play Ark Survival Evolved or want to, we have a private di or a private server just for uh, the crypto community. It's free to join, of course, if you already have the game. That's all it requires. Uh, just join our Discord and ask how to get in. We'll let you in. Did anyone see the S&P 500 crash today? Interesting stuff coming. Uh, yeah, man, the actual like real the real money market they're doing a little rough right now. Luxcoin sounds similar to Aeon Network Savage Mine. That's that's one way to put it. I haven't really looked at the Aeon network very much, Savage. Jason H. had a lot sitting around. Well, thank you for that, Jason. I appreciate it. Rick Terman, Dinos Rule. Yes, they do, Mr. Rick. Chris Ewalt, will you be moving rigs downstairs in the winter time? Chris Ewalt, that will be a whole nother set of videos. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying to route my uh, exhaust tubes. I want to route them together um, because I'm going to be pulling in such cold ambient temperatures. Dropping a vid on Aeon soon. Savage Mine, I will definitely check that out. Um, but I want to route my, instead of routing that tube outside uh, and blowing the hot air outside, I want to uh, tee them together and run, use one fan and then run that downstairs and like pipe it directly to the middle of my like uh, living room to like heat the living room. And then I want to probably build another mining rig to keep in the bedroom to heat the bedroom up and maybe build another mining rig for the kitchen or my back room, my office. Got it. I, I need another mining rig in here because I got to stay warm in here. Basically, it's winter time. It's time to expand. Keep the whole house warm, you know what I'm saying? Probably not realistic, though. Michael Oates, did you see BTC is now tradable on X FXCM? I don't even know what, uh, what is FXCM. U.S. stock in, in indices are moving. Is that indices? More volata volatility ahead. Trade global markets, Forex. Uh, residents of the United States are not eligible to apply for FXCM live trading account with any FXCM entity. What? Okay. Uh, yeah. 
Well, it's cool that they're uh, adding adding stuff in there, like uh, BTC. I don't see it right here, but um, the more the merrier. Free heat that pays. I'm about to bring my open air home. Viv Crypt Mining, definitely. In the winter time, that's when you love those mining rigs. You cut your heat off. Well, I don't cut my heat off. I set my heat down to like 50, just in case like the mining rigs or something like can't keep up. And um, then the actual heat will cut on. But we cut the heat way down, and then we heat with the mining rigs. Uh, Zar420, do you ever use PCIe power cord splitters, and could you recommend a good brand? Uh, let me see if I can find the ones I, I use on Amazon. Uh, PCIe splitter. Um, I want to say I, I'll use the two pack kind right here. Um, that's a six pin though. I swear I was using an eight pin splitter. Oh, I think this is it. It's hard to recommend a brand on these. At one time, we had uh, Fishmonger was making custom cables. But for right now, I would definitely just go with stuff that's got ratings. This one looks pretty good. Um, splitter, it splits it, you know, an 8-pin to dual 8-pin. Uh, 56 reviews. Most of them are 5 stars, so that's not too scary. Definitely... Uh, Try it out on a on a cheap card first. Don't be plugging these into 2080 Ti's. Um, gonna build a bunch of mining space heaters, so we'll post some rigs of the day. Walrond Farm. I hope to do the same. I made it, Robert Burns. Ah, oh, Mr. Fu. Welcome to the live chat, brother. We're only 27 minutes in. Michael, it's Brandon. If you had one BTC sitting, what coin would you trade it for now, Michael Oates? Oh man, what would I trade it for right now? If I had one BTC, you know what? We're going all in on Ether One. One, one BTC worth of Ether One, at one point nine cents. <laughs> Robert Burns, I trade one BTC for USD. I heard that. I have those long ones powering cards and risers for a year now. All RX 560s, 570s, and 580s. Well, thank you for that, Viv Crypt Mining. Um, the long ones right here, the S Unions. Ten BTC pump tomorrow on Yobit. All right, Zar 420. Okay, I'll check it out. Just don't want to catch fire, Zar 420. Um, yeah, we don't want anybody to be catching on fire in here for sure. Nemesis BTC is the ticket to the moon. I heard you nemesis, but imagine if you had a BTC worth of ether one and it goes back up to five cents because it was at five cents just a month and a half ago. Five cents is totally doable. Your your Bitcoin would be what two and a half times the value. They even have the timer on their website, Yobit. Yobit? I don't know. Let's check it out. Yobit. Z, um, uh, well, I don't know what I'm looking for, guys. <laughs> Yo, bit pump in 22 hours. Whoa, okay, be careful there. Demonetization. Yo bit pump in 22 hours. We will buy one random coin for one BTC every one to two minutes, 10 times. Total buy amount, 10 BTC. Guys, I don't even know if that's legal. I guess it's not illegal, but it sounds shady. <laughs> like, it definitely sounds shady. Oh, they got the daddy token. They got the daddy token, and they got the girl that wants the daddy token. Something's fishy about this, this yo bit. Why did what what's going on there? I don't know what's going on. Um what's the latest news on Ether 1? I'm not sure. We can go check in with them. Um Vivcrypt. I also use KMC smart plugs running two of my rigs. 
app on your phone can switch them on and off and monitor kilowatt hour and watts used good stuff thank you vivcrypt mining so that's the kmc smart plugs kmc smart plugs oh those are reasonable look at that twenty six dollars for three of them and it's got a phone app so you can see the amount of wattage is used See, look, they're so happy. They're checking on their mining rigs. They're like, oh, my God, look at that. I got five Ethereum ones. And then she's like, uh, I almost said a bad word. <laughs> she's like, uh, my female friend, That's you got five Ethereum ones. I got nine Ethereum ones. You ain't nothing. I'm, yeah, anyway, that was horrible. So. Jeff Key, still mining Lux. Lux fanboy. Jeff Key, uh, I think Lux has got a good thing going. Um, hopefully they can just get that snowball rolling. Brandon, why do you like Ether 1? I like Ether 1 uh, because my low gigabyte cards can mine it and they have uh, some plans. And I, I'm not even going to shill it. I am just going to go to the Ether 1 website and read what they're doing. Uh, bu -bu 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 -bu. where's the uh the timeline? Uh, hold on, I know how to do this. White paper, that's where it is, I think. Uh, okay, here it is. Uh, roadmap. So you can already mine it. It's a coin. That's a thing. It's got like a one point five gig DAG file so you can mine it on a 2 gig and up card uh, additional wallets in development iOS and Android advanced masternode deployment they're testing it currently right now um, and it's a advanced masternode content sharing protocol that's going to run on the back end of the masternodes so you're going to be able to like share files and stuff I don't really know um, but it's different ish something slightly new um subdomain implementation of content sharing protocol that's some stuff i don't know about custom top level domain deployment it's got custom in the in the word that i like that fully decentralized social media platform don't know how that's going to work and don't know if people are going to use it but you know what i'll i'll jump on there um further roadmap be to be determined by community so at least you know they got their social media thing coming they got their um uh content sharing protocol coming they got they have stuff coming that's why that's why i like ether one i'm a simple man i see ether i mine ether i like ether you know even though it's kind of going down the profitability is there too it's not a bad coin to mine uh, da, 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 da. i'll show you new miner for amd on lux by the way jeff key thank you for that Ether one difficulty was below one terahash earlier today. And now back up above. Robert Burns. Oh, no good. What miner do you run for Ether one? I use Claymore eleven point nine. XMR Nick. Yeah, same miner for Ethereum and Ethereum Classic. Yep, Claymore. So like Dropbox or Sciacoin a little. Uh, Michael Oates. I think yeah. I think that's what they're gonna try to do is some kind of content sharing platform. Um, and what if they integrate that with the social media platform and kind of have it so you could like upload videos and holy smokes. What if they had like a Facebook, YouTube mashup in crypto? It would never probably work, but it'd be kind of cool. And I get you pay with the service monthly for Ether One. I don't know anybody that would actually pay for it, but it would be cool. Ether one is on Ledger. That means they're legit. Yeah. Okay. Well, that's 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 what it takes. Have you checked on the Ledger Blue? I have not. Czar four twenty. I still have my Trezor, but I don't have a Ledger. Brandon, look at my paint. Satisfying eight second video. All right, Bitcoin Jake. Let's check it out. And guys, if you want to uh, have anything showed off, just just throw it up here. glowing nice <laughs> bitcoin jake what are you doing here and why is it glowing 
Hmm. Nice. 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 Hmm. Nice. All right. Bitcoin Jake, I, I, you know what? I'm not even closing your stuff out. I'm dragging it over to the side, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep that. That hmm. Nice. I'm gonna clip that. I'm gonna clip that, and that's gonna be a part of some videos in the future. Hmm. Nice. I'll finish once once it's done drying. All right. Ethan Ether One and Pigeon Coin mix. Holy smokes. What's your take on the Psycoin fork? I didn't even know it forked, so I have no take on it uh, currently. Uh, I'm sorry, John Hartwig. Ledge it. Oh, get it. Ledger. It's legit if it's on the ledger. Surfin. What coins to mine on AMD when ETH becomes less and less profitable upcoming fork? Well, surf in. Ether 1 is a good AMD mine. Uh, also, Monero. Um... But Lux coin potentially I, I I don't have those results yet but that will be one of the new upcoming results on like the daily hash rates um, I mean there, there's definitely more options out there than just straight Ethereum you could go Ethereum Classic uh, let's see here magic yes Jeff Key it was magic uh, Michael Oates Sia coin fork is crazy Voss coin made a post about it a little about it a little bit about it What's the uh, the fork? Sidecorn is forking off of all Bitmain ASICs, so only their own ASICs will work. John Hartwig. Okay, Michael Oates and John Hartwig. I actually did I did watch this uh, from Vosk, and um, you know what? I'm I'm I have nothing to do with Sidecoin. I have nothing to do with ASICs other than my little USB miner ASIC. But I'm a little I don't want to say not happy with Sidecoin. But they let it, they let it go on too far. Um, if they let somebody go ahead and get out there and and make all these ASICs and people have these ASICs in hand, and a lot of people, if Sidecoin's not like the hot to trot coin to mine, um, if people that supported the coin were buying the ASICs to help support and build up a reliable network, uh, and then they kind of throw it in their face by forking off of all the other ASICs, so you have to buy the new ASICs now. I don't know. It just doesn't seem right to me. It's kind of like, uh, you know, you're selling your audience short, maybe. Uh, I don't know how I feel about it, but that's kind of like if I wanted to go buy or mine um, Ether 1, for example, and it's a special algorithm, and I go buy the special ASIC for Ether 1, but it's not from Ether 1, so then they fork off of it, and I have to buy their ASIC. I don't know. It's just, it's different. And it, Inner Silicon ETH ASIC uh, should be out if not already. Ray Taylor. Um, yeah, it's probably already out. Chris Ewalt. Is Ether1 the only 2 gig mineable? Chris Ewalt, I have not run across any other ETH hash coins that are 2 gig friendly at the moment. So I think Ether1 is one of the only. Napaton Salim. Hello, welcome to the live chat, and make sure to everybody leave those likes and thumbs ups, so that way all the haters that leave the thumbs down, they're like, oh man, we'll never beat the likes and the thumbs up. Music coin is two gigabyte until November. John Hartwig, thank you for that. Uh, so I stand corrected. Chris Ewalt, music coin is good until November. What's up, peeps? YouTube watcher coming to the the live chat. EXP and is EXP two gig? Hold on, let's let's go look at this. EXP expanse. Dag size. Dag size calculator. All right, so here we go. Uh, Ethereum's 2.69, Classic is 2.74, Music Coin is 1.91, Expanse is 1.37, and Ubic is 1.16. So we actually have a couple two gig mineable uh, algorithms here. Solicoin, what's that? Um, Looks like the 1063 gigs are gonna fall off April 21st, 2019 for Ethereum. Uh, March for Ethereum Classic. Uh, yeah, November for MusicCoin, the two gig cards are falling off. 
January 2020 for Expanse, so plenty of time on Expanse, uh, plenty of time on Ubic, and Solicoin is messed up. Solicoin, uh, yeah, that's all the, the the DAGs that are on here currently. Ubic is so much better than Ether One. John Hartwig. Well, we can try out some Ubic. I just never mind it before. Will you ever sell your two gigabyte cards and upgrade to a few better cards? Robert Burns, Mr. Foo Bricks. I kind of like my two gig cards. They do good and they don't even really burn that much electricity. Um, I have 11 of the 1052 gigs currently all being run by like one 750 watt power supply. Uh, I locked them at like 45 watts or something and they're just chugging away. Sorry, man. Been drinking. YouTube watcher, that is not a problem, bro. I'm just glad you made it here. I think EXP is 199 now. Really? 30 watts for the win. Yeah, you lock those 1050s down, they'll they'll get it done. Um, let's see here. EXP coin. Uh, expanse. It's at 23 cents currently. Not bad. XMR mining. Yeah, XMR is a great mine for AMD. Their cards love it. 580s. Some of them getting as high as a kilohash. Spartan Mining got uh, his his 580s up to a kilohash. I know some of them. DAG file. Nero. EXP is 199 now. DAG file. What? Nero? Is it really? Hold on. Let's see here. EXP DAG size. For the load. YouTube watcher, I pre ordered two of the i9 through Best Buy. Just click chat now window and tell them what you want to do. YouTube watcher, I am so jealous of you getting those uh, i9s. You definitely have to let us know how they do. The i9 9900K. We'll look those up here in a second. I think I looked them up yesterday. Uh, expanse. Uh. Okay, so it's at 1.37 gig currently. Oh, dude, in 2061, it's going to be at 8 gig DAG file. A 1080 Ti won't even be able to mine it in 2061. Got two, one for me, one for the wife. The wife is going to be burning up the dang internet with a Core i9. Holy smokes. I put a SSD in my girlfriend's laptop that's got like an i3 from like five years ago, and she's like, oh my god, it's so fast now. So fast. It's SSD made it so fast. I'm just like, it's part of the game. Upgraded. i9. My girlfriend wouldn't know what to do if she had an i9. Um, oh, and always, E-T-S. Got to uh, gotta give the shameless plug for some Brandon Coin stickers. To get yourself a Brandon Coin sticker, obviously you don't have to get that in purple. You can click which one you want, and they have color options, white and black. Purple's not even an option. That was a limited edition. Somebody got that? Yeah. We have. There's a couple different ones. This is the one you want, though. This is the one that adds mega hashes. Don't take that out of context. It probably is not going to add mega hashes, but if you're a car guy, you know what this does. So... Magnolia Ray Designs, that's my girlfriend's. These are all made in-house. They are no longer made behind me. I actually moved her uh, space into uh, what used to be our separated dining room. So now that's her office, and we no longer have a dining room. But guess what? We never used the dining room to begin with, so that's just that's part of it. You know what I'm saying? More sticker, more quicker for sure. I apologize for crypto market going down. I put more money in yesterday. Happens every time. It's my fault. Savage Mine. I feel like every time I touch something, it just catches on fire and burns to the ground. So, like, literally, I I just bought more 1080 Ti's, and it's just like, oh, you, you bought more graphics cards? Bam! Bam! Further down. Secret Recipe. I need more people in my speculative mining club. Well, Secret Recipe, if you can come over and hang out in the Brandon Coin Discord sometimes... 
there is a, a little speculative mining club inside of the Discord, and they try out all kinds of coins all the time. So you should definitely come over there. Bam. So, guys and gals, don't forget, if you are if you didn't make it to the beginning of the video, I did a Twitter poll yesterday and asked if people wanted the live stream to be changed from 10 p.m. to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so back one hour. Um, and it, it uh, won by 10%. It was a 55% to a 45, I believe. Um, so, next week, starting Monday, the... Monday the 15th all the way to Friday the 19th. I'm going to give it a trial run, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Um, and, of course, I'll post it on my Twitter so you can be notified through there. And I'll also let the guys in the Discord know, uh, 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, full, you know, a one-hour stream, Monday through Friday. I'm going to give it a test, see how it does, and then after that, we'll get after that week, I'll know what works better. John Hartwig should play crypto roulette google random number go to that coin on coin market cap and either mine buy or just give your thoughts on that coin that's actually a really cool idea we could uh, you know what that could be a, a whole part of the video especially when we get you know it gets boring let's see here uh random number generator so, coin market cap. How many coins are on here? Does it say? There's 2,063. So, 2050. All right, guys. Ready for it? Brrr. Drum roll, generate. Oh my God, that's that's gonna be a, a amazing coin. I feel it right now. Thirteen sixty one. We're just gonna give our ideas on it right now, uh, but I can definitely see doing this in the future. How do I even get to thirteen sixty one? No items match. Do it. No, no. View all. Control F. Thirteen sixty one down 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 up down really there we go bit 20 look at that why my computer's acting up control uh, oh no go back down I was loading this page in control F or scroll yeah I, I had control F a second ago but Sweating. What was it again? What number? 1361. It was... Bit 20. What is Bit 20? Oh my god! Bit 20 is $217,000. What? There's one circulating supply? Is there, is there a website for this? What is this? Circulating supply. One. Buy. Check coin 42. It's an index fund. Bit 20. The leading cryptocurrency index funds. I'm gonna tell you this website it almost looks as bad as my website. I like like the the brick background. Um, today's bit twenty composition. The next revision will be on 2018 10 21. So it's got one BTC 29 ETH. Okay, so it's just got a bunch of stuff, and that makes the bit one bit twenty. 
Oh, interesting. Okay. Check coin number 42. We can we can do that. So bit 20 is, is different. That's for sure. Uh, 42. Poondix. Poondi X. Michael Johns. I see why you too. There's not even 20 of them. I, I know. I don't. Their name doesn't even. Maybe there's 20 coins inside of it. That's what it is. That website looks so 1990s. Savage Mind. Going to that website just brought me back to my childhood for sure. Pundi X. What, why am I looking at this coin? I don't get it. It is. Uh, it looks like it started in July. Pundi X is pretty cool. Well, let's uh, let's go check out the Pundi. Crypto startup Pundi X says that it made the first blockchain phone call. Whoa, no. What? They made a blockchain phone call? So we just come off of a 1995 website and now we're on like a 2012 at least. Uh, da, 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 da. Blockchain called FX. Currently, FX is already up and running. Internal test environment and will continue. FDAP. Android developer can develop FX and XPOS apps. Um, checkout, food ordering, cryptocurrency sales, other blockchain. F apps. Yeah, F those apps. Node, 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 node. F, 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 F. If, oops. If, oops. If, if. Huh. Under current test environments, each XPOS is an FX node. All data from the XPOS will fully encrypted and stored in FX lower level IPFS. I don't know what any of that means. Pundi events. Oh, what are they doing? Oh, that's Pundi right there. Look at that. She's got a Pundi uh, sales point of sales. We are shipping XPOS now starting August 1st. Order now. Can we order a, a point of sale system? Get yours, your new XPOS. Uh, um, place your order now. Um, how much is it? brandoncoin1201 at gmail.com place your order now I am not a robot I don't really want to buy one you're not pre-registered user and therefore cannot place a purchase <coughs> so how do I get one what do realize you're ordering a cash register Roderick Crawford I realize all I wanted to find out was how much it costs <laughs> but yes uh, Vivcrypt, I'm waiting for some reviews and I'm going to get one. If it was a really, really lightweight, kind of like what the, um, what is it, the square and stuff like that is, if it was a lightweight point of sale system, I could use that for my personal company because there's a lot of people that want to pay with like credit card and stuff. Um, I just don't know exactly how it would work. Did you see BCN was removed from Binance? Bitcoin, what? What happened? Bitcoin. Bitcoin bites the dust with a 22% loss after Binance delisting. Why? Why do you do that, Bitcoin? Earlier today, Binance announced the delisting of Bitcoin and three other altcoins following the announcement. Bitcoin dropped by 22%, breaking out of its sideways movement in a disastrous blaze of glory. The coin was traded between 0 .0022 and 0 .0021 for the whole of last week with no signs of the coming drop until the announcement by Binance. Following this, the coin saw a sharp knife drop downwards to the .0017 mark. Why did they do it? While it is unclear why the price stopped its decline at the specific mark, the movement saw the market erase around $87 million. 
Interestingly, the trading volume went up by almost eight times from around 1.5 million to almost 10 million. The announcement made by Binance stated that they delisted the coin from their exchange as they did not stick to the high standard of quality of assets on their exchange. They also mentioned factors such as commitments of the team, specifics of the development cycle, stability of the network, and due diligence conducted by the exchange to gauge the state of the project. Specific reasons for the delisting have not been mentioned. However, Bitcoin had a healthy development cycle with a hard fork occurring recently and updates, update notes released on the 4th of October. It is also one of the oldest coins in existence and was created in July of 2014. Wow, no way. Okay, well that stinks for everybody who had Bitcoin. Mr. C, like Chick-fil-A, use the small Android cash register. Mr. C, welcome. I'm late. You are late, Mr. C. It's been a long time. I hope you're doing well. Make sure to leave the, the like, the thumbs up. Are y'all like, can you see me? Um, Every third unit has been bathed in tiger blood. Are you talking about the Pundi things? <laughs> I'm just getting everything crypto to have the first. So when I'm old, I can give it to my daughter. And if it may be worth something, but I want to use the phone if it's good. Bites the dust. I'll see myself out. Robert Burns. <laughs> I, I, like, uh, I like it. I did the like button first. Mr. C, I, always, I know you do the like button first. Thank you for it. It bites. Yeah, this bites, man. Bitcoin bites dust when they get bit off of Coinbase. There's a lot of biting going on right there. So, Pundi. We need to get some Pundi? The oldest coin I have is HODL coin. How much is where? What's a HODL coin? H-O-D-L coin. It's the year of the squirrel. HODL coin is CPU mineable by the people for the people. Rewards are earned on active HODL balances where you can lock your HODL away for a term and earn more. Check out our active and growing community roadmap and plans for the future. Uh, volume in the last 24 hours, $56. There was $56 worth of volume. It's old. That's it. Wow. Fair launch, no pre mine, insta mine, ninja. I like that. N ninja. I don't know what that has to do with fair launch, but it says ninja. That's cool. It's old AF. Bitcoin 0.11.2. Having every four years proof of work. It looks old. Auto coin. One year term, 9.9% APR. Auto can be purchased directly on an exchange. It can also be mined via a computational complex blockchain based processes. It's on five different exchanges. Not bad. Wait, no. Three different exchanges and two pools. Going on five years now. Looks terrible. <laughs> well, thank you for that, YouTube watcher. Ninja seems legit. Yeah, it says Ninja with the fair launch. You know what I'm saying? Just saying. Get involved with Hotelcoin. They got a YouTube? No way. Oh, hold on. No. They have the YouTube and it lights up, but there's nothing there. Guys, you need a YouTube. Do they have an Instagram? No Instagram. Facebook? They have a Facebook and a Twitter. I really could care less. I wanted to see a video. I can't find the Ninja Wallet. I, I want a Ninja Wallet. The Ninja Wallet's so good you can't find it. Whale? Um, Hoddle. Wallet. Oh, this, oh, we looked at it all, actually. White paper. Okay, we looked at the white paper. Uh, well, that's one coin you don't want to Hoddle. The Hoddle coin. Don't know what you want to do with it. But, 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 let's go to NVIDIA. Let's see what's going on.
What is this? RTX 6000? You know why they, guys, you know why they call this the Quadro RTX 6000? Because it costs $6,000. So I hate to see when the RTX 9000 comes out. You know what I'm saying? You catch my drift? They pay you to huddle until they run out of money. I don't know. I don't know. Specs. 3072 processing cores. 384 tensor cores. 48 RT cores. GPU 16 gigs of GDDR6. This is a monster right here. Quadro because it's four times the price of a 2080 Ti. Yeah. Yeah, it's like six times the price, isn't it? Oh, GV100. Look at that. Nine grand. They, they named this wrong. This should have been the GV8999. GP100 P6000. Who buys these things? P4000. Quadro sucks. Uh, Mr. C, you're not wrong. You're not wrong. This is this is what we're we're drooling over right now. Woo! What like two more weeks, guys? One more week? I can't wait for it. Oh, look at that! Look at this. You ready? Fifty mega hash. Wait, which one's better? Do you guys like the left or the right? Left, right, left, right. This is the right. This is the left. I don't really know which one I like better. Which one is which? When it comes to next gen gaming, it's all about realism. GeForce RTX 2070 is light years ahead of other cards, delivering truly unique real time ray tracing technologies for cutting edge hyper realistic games. Alright, so the one on the left looks darker and scarier, and the one on the right looks more lit up. I really can't tell. Looks like my bedroom. Chip dog, your bedroom's got like an old drum in it and stuff? Hold on. How's the candle look? I, I don't know. Yeah, that's all I need to see is crack this thing open and look at the hash rates. Forty. The Founders Edition has more RTX ops? Really? So the regular 2070 is going to be a neutered card over the Founders Edition? It's only going to have 42 ops. Huh. Mm, oh, well, guys, gals, ladies and gentlemen, I didn't realize it, but I have taken up too much of your time. We are over, over budget and underpaid. So, with that being said, thank you for tuning in to the Brandon Coin Daily Mining uh, Hash Rates Live Show Crypto Nothing Talk. Uh, we will be back 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time tomorrow until the rest of the week. Then, Monday through Friday next week, we'll, we'll transition over to 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to test it out. You guys voted for this, so this is, this is what we're giving to you. We're giving you what we want, what you want. We're giving me... I'm giving you what you wanted me to give you. You know what I'm saying? You feel me? Alright? So, adios. Have a good night. Make sure to leave a like on your way out. Um, I need to go get a fresh Mountain Dew. Don't think the 2060 has ray tracing. You're correct. The 2070, 2080, and 2080 Ti. That's your ray traces right there. And that is how you can try to figure out which side looks better. Oh, hold on. We found, hold on. We found something up. So, guys. That tree's moving in the window right there. Do you see that? So, if you're gaming and you're trying to shoot through this tree, do you want ray tracing on or off? I don't even know if... Is this on or is that on? Or is this on or off? Off, on. On, off. It's moving. Holy smokes. Which one is which?
RTX off is on the left, RTX on is on the right. No, stop, stop moving, stop moving, pause. Dang it. This is off, that's on. I'm gonna be honest, I kinda like off. Off looks real. This okay, this is off. This is on. Off. I need to quit looking at this. I'm, I'm tripping my up. Maybe it's the wind from your mouse. Yeah, maybe. All right, guys. Have a good night. Adios. I'll see you later. If you want to come and talk, we will be in the Discord uh, gaming it up a little bit and chatting some crypto stuff. So uh, have a good night. And yeah. I'm so confused. Yeah, I don't know. Chip dog. Just you got to stay away from that. Peace out. It's awful. Yeah, I know. RTX awful. Peace.